four. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to day four of Painting with Robert, or I guess the last one in this little mini series. So today we're about towards the end and doing some final touches, but one thing before I thought of doing this is having something small on the beach. So I know it's upside down, but you'll see in its right side up later, I decided to put the initials of my sister and her boyfriend who this painting is for. And I've seen like a lot of times where I'm looking at beach pictures, well, they'll have um, things written in the sand as like a um, love thing or something summary written in. So I have wanted to take a next step further and decided to say, huh, maybe they cut some palm tree leaves and just let it sit on the ground with, um, and had a little plus to be the um, thing that was within the sand. And then I was like, well, okay, I, I can do, um, something with the heart. So I'm like, well, there's probably some rocks along the beach, so I decided to make some rocks. Now there's that big rock towards the um, top of the heart where it's like, well, I made this, but scaling. And I was like, whoops. So I had to quickly try to descale it and I made a little basic idea of what the heart would look like and just mix different colors of rocks from referencing and just put it all together. Now during this process, I was also trying to figure out, like talk to my family and home to be like, okay, I would like suggestions on what I can do with this and what would be on the beach. And they were like, oh, you could probably put some seashells, maybe a bath towel, an umbrella, some feet in the sand, and they were really good suggestions. Uh, at the end, when I saw this, it came out to be where I couldn't have enough room because I scaled it differently. And now, last but not least, we're doing some final touches. Um, when I was doing the lettering, I messed up on there. So I tried to make a sand color, but made it a little too dark than the first three times I did it on day one. So I had to cover up my mistake and then just went, oh, let me um, do final touches on the beach itself and just made it, gave it more dimension, more believable yeah and as we're coming up to the very end i would like to say thank you all for accompanying me on this journey it was a great journey and i hope you all enjoyed it with my colorful commentary and everything and now we have a couple seconds to enjoy this while we present this to my sister here we go Unfortunately, when I originally recorded that reaction, I did not have the microphone on, but as you can see in that little montage, my sister really loved it. Um, she did like the little elements that I put in there, and she really loved the the um, NS and AL that I put in there, it's usually for their names. Uh, after that, we had the entire family come around and give their little opinion, suggestions, what could have been on it. I agree that some things could have been there, others were not. And after that, they took that painting home and they hung it up. And I actually got a text from him the other day saying that when they woke up that morning and looked at the painting, they smiled. So this was Painting with Robert, a first in a maybe potential series. If you want to see more like that, um, please subscribe, comment, share, and maybe like the video. I, some of you would like one Rob original painting, 
please share in the comments. Um, maybe we can talk over on social media to see what we can come up with. Or if there are any other paintings that you want to see, just to have me do, um, please let me know. Uh, until then, see you in the next video.